I don't always rock out, but when I do, I do it on tech. Oh. Hey, what up, bitches? I mean, respected tech fans. What's going on? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. We're bringing you all the tech all the time. And today we've got the full review benchmarks and all of the Gigabyte 750 Ti WinForce Edition video card. This thing's coming in the market about $176. And we'll have all that information in the end for you guys to check out. For now, though, let's jump in and talk about the features of the card before we get in rocking out to the benchmark. So with that said, let's get the frack on with it. All right, folks, so here we go. Let's break this shiznick down. Now, the chipset's the GeForce GTX 750 Ti with a memory clock of 5,400 megahertz. Based on the 28 nanometer process, features two gigabytes of GDR5 memory at 128-bit memory bus. Now, the base clock is 1,033 megahertz with a boost of 1,111 megahertz. The standard base speed on a reference card is 1,020 megahertz, and the boost is only 1,085 megahertz. The card supports DirectX 11.2, OpenGL 4.4. The analog maximum resolution is 2048 by 1536. This card features multi-view technology, so up to four monitors can be used. The rear I.O. features dual DVI, DVI-D, and two HDMI connections. This is how you can get the 4K resolution through two of those. Now, it's a 400 watt power requirement, and the card size, the length is 204 millimeters, the width is 144 millimeters, and the height is 42 millimeters. We'll also have this translated to inches for those folks who use that measure requirement. Okay, folks, so there it is. Speeds, feeds, memory, everything you need to know about the card. Now, with that said, let's jump in, let's check out the test system, and then let's rock out to the benchmark song and see how this card does against the performance. Rock on, my friends. So there you guys have it. Now this card's in the sub 200 market, which makes it a very, very hot commodity. Cards in this price range sell very, very well. People seem to be able to afford this. Anything between the 150 and 200 dollar range is the hot spot for video cards. Performance on this thing is very, very well. You guys can see there's a big difference in cooling between the reference card and this card. One's running at 45 under full load, one's running at like 67 something. So there's like a major, major difference proving that the WinForce cooling actually does work. This also avails to better overclocking because the cooler the card stays, the better you're gonna get with the GPU boost when it's gonna overclock. So that's it, folks. Hope you guys like this video. If so, hit that like button down below. That like button in the description will be all the information about this card, where you can buy it, all that good kind of stuff if you're interested in seeing more information. I'm Elric. If you're not subbed, hey, sub button will be up here right behind me. Hit that or click the button where it says subscribe. You know what to do. Love you. Peace. Later.